Hi guys. So in the last video I had explained how to find median and mode when we have raw data. Now what if we have a grouped frequency data? How to find the median and mode for them? We'll be learning that in this video. Okay. So let's suppose we have this hypothetical data here. I have found out the cumulative frequency column as well. Okay. So before we find out before we find the median and the mode we obviously need the median class and the modal class as well. Okay? So how to find median class? So median class for median class we need the n by 2 value. n by 2 value uh, in which the n is the total frequency which is 81 here. You can see the 81 here. So n by 2 value here it is obviously it is uh, the for formula is given here 81 divided by 2 which is obviously 40.5 which is the 41st value now we want to locate this 41st value in the cumulative frequency column so how to locate that uh, we simply need to find we ne simply need to uh, read the cumulative frequency column and find out that value which is greater than 41 or is equal to 41 if there is okay so let's say 10 so 10 is obviously less than 41 this is this does not suffice the condition 25 again the same thing now for 49 it is obviously greater than 41 so it suffice the condition as well so therefore uh, the class according to 49 is 20 to 30 therefore our median class median class is 20 to 30 okay so now how to find the modal class modal class is simply that class which has the maximum frequency which is just you you just need to locate the highest frequency which is 24 here therefore the modal class is 20 to 30 now it so happens in this case that the median class and the modal class is the same that is just a coincidence coincidence it is not always so now i have found out many other values which we will be needing uh, when we find out the median and the mode so c is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class or the modal class now f1 is the actual frequency of median class or the modal class f0 is the class is the frequency of the class before the median class f3 is the frequency of the class after the median class or the modal, cla modal class h is the uh, class width i mean uh, it is 10 to 20 so there is uh, 20 minus 10 is 10 which is the class width here now l is the lower boundary of the median class or the uh, modal class which is the modal class is 20 to 30 therefore the lower bound is 20 here okay so now we start calculating the median here so for median the uh, the formula has been listed here now let's see the formula here it is very simple now we first need to use the n by 2 value which n by 2 minus the c with, uh, and that is divided by f1 and the whole of this fraction is multiplied by the class width h okay now we just need to add the lower boundary to it okay so let's just start finding that i have found out here so i'll just explain how did i find it now l15 here it is i have selected this 20 which is the lower bound which is the lower boundary of course okay now in this you just need to select the n by 2 value minus the c value complete the brackets here to show the precedence and then divide this thing with f1 which is 24 now uh, again complete the brackets here so that complete the brackets here so that it shows the precedence and multiply this whole thing with h which is the class width class width which is this class width now at the end we need to add now remember to add the lower boundary as well now simply we have typed out the whole formula 
you just need to press enter and then you'll get this answer here okay now we have found out median now we need to find the mode as well now for mode we have listed the formula here as well now it looks difficult but it is in, in fact very simple to understand we will be needing uh, uh, a few other um, entries as well I have chunked out the whole formula into smaller pieces so that you can understand it now we will be needing the value of f1 minus f0 which is here let's just find that press equal to sign select f1 here minus f0 press enter we will be needing f1 minus f2 f2 as well so equal to sign select f1 press minus sign and then select f2 oh i'm sorry it is hey, this is the, now this is f2 actually okay now we need to now we proceed to the formula okay so now in this formula we just need to find first the lower boundary plus f1 minus f0 in the numerator divided by this uh, f1 minus f0 plus f1 minus f2 now this whole of now this whole of the fraction is multiplied by the class width which is h okay now remember to put the precedence as well okay so let's just type the whole formula here press equal to sign select l press the plus key now put brackets on another bracket select f1 minus f0 which is this formula complete now press the divide key slash sign now again select this f1 minus f0 press the plus key select f1 minus f2 here complete the brackets now this whole thing now this whole uh, fraction is to be multiplied by the free by the class width as well so press the multiplication sign select h h which is 10 here okay now you need to complete this bracket as well so complete i'm just completing the brackets here now i have typed out the whole formula just press enter and that's it you get the mode here as well okay thank you so in this way that's it for this video thank you